Hello everyone, this is another session from Tutorials Diary. So, uh, if you are starting with a blockchain and if you are interested to learn the blockchain, so the very first thing uh, what you are seeking right now that okay, which uh, from where I should start uh, really. So, uh, we are writing series of blogs and series of videos uh, to help you understand about blockchain and make you aware that uh, what all things we have right now are blockchain. So blockchain we already discussed in the previous blogs and previous videos so I will not repeat the same thing again but blockchain uh, we can consider the two platform or framework if, if you can just see in a simple language we have one is ethereum one is hyperledger fabric so we already talk about uh, ethereum uh, in couple of blogs and the video sessions where we have explained how to set up how to develop the sample so now we are writing a series of blocks on the Hyperledger fabric as well just to make you aware that how it works, how you can set up the Hyperledger fabric on your system. So as part of that uh, session and the series, uh, we have write one last uh, blog where we have talked about that, how you can set up the Hyperledger fabric on your uh, systems. But in case you are willing to go in depth, like what Hyperledger Fabric uh, gives you, they gives you shell script, which is pre-built shell script, which uh, will have all the commands uh, written. You just need to run only one command and you're good to go. You can set up your own network and you can start building your code. But in case you're interested to go in depth and want to understand that, before you set up the network what all kind of files you get and what each file means and what type of content we have in this each file so uh, this blog is for you so in this very first blog about the fabric uh, network setup we will make you aware about the crypto config file which we have uh, in that uh, setup basically what it will do how it will look like and what we can do with this file okay so uh, hyperledger fabric uh, we already discussed about basics in the last videos in the previous session so i will not go again but uh, before you go to this uh, lesson i recommend you to have everything installed on your system and uh, the same thing uh, if you haven't gone through this blog before if you haven't set up all the tools and uh, uh, pieces which you need before you do, go and set up your network you have to have this installed on your system so this blogs talk about how to set up basically node.js uh, then git installation python curl go language docker fabric clone uh, cloning the fabric sample then install the libraries so this all things should be there in your system before you go and jump uh, to this uh, next blog basically we will be talking about the crypto config file basically so what hyperledger fabric uh, do actually so they give you a fabric sample uh, which you can use to build your first network uh, which you can use uh, to create your first sample uh, because generally whenever we learn any new tool and technology the very first thing we do is a hello world sample so same thing uh, if you go to this uh, url <laughs> which is on github so they are giving you some fabric samples uh, which is given by the hyperledger fabric so here you can see there are different folders of folders are there that will make you aware about uh, the functionality of hyperledger fabric <laughs> so here you can see you have a fab car sample which is a full sample which they have given you to uh, understand the hyperledger fabric uh, the files which we have and how it works but in this uh, blog we are really interested in this folder the first network so before you go any kind of uh, development the very first thing which you do is set up your network right so you don't uh, directly jump to uh, start building the code first of all you need to have a server installed you have all the things set up before you go and jump to any development right so that is a folder which we are focusing right now first network if you just open this folder in this one you will see multiple files and subfolders are there so our first lesson uh, is focusing only on this crypto config.yml file <coughs> so now the question comes at why we have this file and how it will benefits be, uh, beneficial to us right so if you are aware about the hyperledger fabric uh, architectures you might have heard about msp membership service provider 
So what it will do, it will store the identity of the users, the organizations, uh, peer nodes which we have, so that only authorized people are part of network, not the outsiders, right? So whenever you set up a network, the very first thing which you do, you create the cryptography material for all the organization which you have or all the users which you have. So this file contain the cryptographic uh, material uh, uh, details that you will create for all, all the organizations which you have or all the users which we have. So this is your very first step. So now once you open this file, let me show you the, act, uh, the structure of this file here basically. Uh, so if you can see here, uh, let me not go into detail about here. Let me show you in the blog directly. I have made it a bit simple as compared to this full lengthy file. So the, I have put a screenshot, the same thing which I have shown you just now in the blog also. So this is how it will look like. This is the content of file. So the comment you can ignore for now. This uh, hash is the comments uh, which will help you to understand about this file. But you can ignore this for now. You can see that this file contain the order organization. So as you already aware in the hyperledger architecture, we do have a order node that will help you to uh, put your transaction in a order, right? So one organization has to host the order node for you. So that is one thing which is defined. This is the organization which is hosting the order node. So name, hyphen name is the name of your order and domain is example.com that is the domain for this order and then specification will come here so here we have the host name which is again order so this once you define this one here in this yaml file this crypto config file whatever cryptography material needed for this order organization that will be get created when we say cryptographic material what that mean actually that is a CA certificate uh, which we needed. So all the certificates which we needed for this uh, order organization, all the public and private keys which we needed, all the MSP configuration which we needed basically. So whatever cryptographically material you need for your network and going forward for your this order organization, it will be get created with this uh, few lines only. Then same thing for the peer organizations. So in a one network, you can have n number of organizations. You can't, uh, uh, based upon your requirement, you can choose either one, two, three, or more than three also. So under peer organizations, you will define your organizations right now. In the fabric, uh, in the first network sample which we get, uh, they have two organizations defined here. So you can see here, the name of first organization is org1. Domain name is org1.example.com Then template, whatever comes uh, under template count, that is the nodes. So this shows that this org1 will have two nodes. And the user is one that is showing that how many node admin user I will have. So if you say count is two for users, that means you want to create two node admin user by default. And that means you will create the cryptography material for two, uh, for one Known admin user right now here with this setup. So same applies to organization two. Here as you can see we have org two with the same structure org two dot example dot com. Template count is two. That means two peer nodes and the user count is one. That means one known admin users. So this is how it will look like. So this looks to be simple. So now some people think about that. Okay, I don't see any information about the cryptographic material here. Right. That is not there because we use the CryptoGen tool to create the cryptography material. So here we are defining the structure for the organizations, how many users we need to have under each organization, how many nodes we want to have under each organization. So based upon these details, your CryptoGen tool which we have that will create the, all the required material. So now uh, once we understand this one, now let's see one quick sample. Uh, I have installed uh, this one on my local machine, uh, the VMware, which I have talked about in the last video also. So let me go and uh, log in there. Okay, let me make it correct. Okay, now what I will do, I will open a terminal window here, first of all. 
I will log in with the sudo user. So I have all the prerequisites done, like oh, I have all the tool installed which I have talked about in the last video. So currently I am in uh, my uh, user folder, I will go to my home folder. So you can just see I went to the root folder here. Now under root folder I will have a fabric sample installed, I will have a fabric sample right. So I will go under fabric sample. Now under fabric sample I will have this all the folders which I was showing you on the github because I have cloned this fabric sample on my local system now right so we are interested in the first network folder so we'll go over there first network and let's see what all files we have so you can see here we have this crypto config.yaml file which I have shown you in the blog also that is the same structure which we have so now we use this file to create the cryptographic material for one order node and two peer organizations and each organization has a two nodes basically and one node admin user right so now the question comes that how we can create that one so for that one you have to go to the fabric sample folder i will go back and i'm right now on the fabric sample uh, folder and here i have a bin i will go to the bin location so once you go to bin you can see that here you have cryptogen so this is the command you will use to create the cryptography material for your uh, business network basically so what you will do what command you will run here you will run this command cryptogen generate now you have to mention the config file which file you should refer so it should refer the first network file right then under that one I have crypto config.yml and whatever output will come it will store it should store to some other location I can mention here output should be stored output should be stored to first network uh, slash crypto output so whatever material will get generated it will get stored to this crypto uh, slash output folder so let's enter this command let's run this one as you can see here so this is showing the output as org1.example.com org2.example.com now you can just go and check it here so let me go to this uh, folder first network folder let me go back first of all see so now let me go there to first network let me show you here now you can see a new folder got created which is crypto output so let's go to that folder go to do a cd command crypto output now you can see it has created two folder here one is for order organization one is for peer organization now you can just go and check it there maybe it will be helpful if i just show you from this file structure itself instead of going through this command let me go to other locations here computers this will be under my root folder so I have to give my password now under fabric sample you will go uh, then you will discover your first network here ok now this folder get created crypto output now you can see under all uh, the order organizations you will get example.com that is the domain which we have put now you can see certificate authority come MLP come orders come users come TLS come right so all this you can just go and ch check it here in the detail about each thing here you can see for MSP we have this kind of folders further for TLS we have this uh, certificate also then for users as you can see here we have admin user which got created by default so this is how you can just go and check this one so this will get created by default now you can see we have two organizations right org1 org2 now you can go under organization one the same thing will come here now we have the two peers right so peer folder will be extra you can see peer1 peer0 and peer1 there are two nodes two peer get created actually right so this is how this command will help you to generate uh, 
all the required cryptographic material which you need for your network. So some of you may have faced some kind of issues uh, like uh, this uh, cryptogen file command is not create, uh, not found. Let me show you that what kind of issue you may face. So once you go to bin folder, right? So if you try to run this command like that way, cryptogen, it will not work. If you can see, you will get this command as command not found. So this is a mistake some people do generally. They don't use this dot slash. So in case you get this kind of error, so make sure that you are using this uh, syntax, okay, dot slash cryptogen, then it will work basically. You can just see here. You can also put the help uh, symbol here and it will help you to show the commands which is available right now. So this is all uh, we have in this session. So I'm uh, hopeful that you like this video and this is a bit helpful for you to understand that how the things happen in the background when you create the high pressure fabric network. Thanks for watching.